Hello guys, I'm going to be keeping this short because I'm uh, recording this at 1080p, so it's going to be insane file size. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is um, basically a cool feature in the Source Engine and uh, a cool thing you can do in this map. This is GM... let me get it. It's GM underscore Butes underscore Night. There's also a day version. The reason I'm doing this is um, so I can show you on the ground there's... If I enable, um, this will be... If I scroll up, wire f if you turn on mat underscore wireframe one, you get a nice layout, and you can see under here there is a massive complex maze system, and this is absolutely huge, and uh, it's going to take me a while to find it as well. That somewhere under here is a large. Here we go, a large cavern. As you can see here when I turn off um, lighting. Basically, to get to here, it's a long, complex way through this maze. And I thought, um, how could I get to here? Because I want to build something in here. How can I get from here to the exit quickly? I thought maybe I could do something in wire. Maybe some kind of like a mapping system. Well, it's already been done. I thought, there's already something in the Source Engine that does this. And it's to do with AI nodes. Thankfully, the, uh, the developer of this map put in AI nodes. So what you can do is um, spawn any enemy, make sure ignore players is on, and you may also want to type in no target, just to be sure. Wait, that turned it off, so turn it back on. Just make sure it's on. Anyway, right, now we're going to use a head crab, just because they're cool, we'll call this one Gareth. Alright, now you, while you head with your crosshair over him, make sure he's not moving anywhere, you have crosshair over him, go to terminal, npc, underscore, Select. Uh, you went. Oh, first of all, you need to type in developer space one. Now, because you've selected him, he'll be red. You won't get this with the developer off. Now, we're going to go. We're going to fly out to the entrance of the cave system. And we're going to type npc. It's going to be npc underscore go. Now he's going to try his best to get to here, this, this arrow means. Now what you type in is mpc underscore root. Now if you go find him, there he is, and let's turn off, let's turn back on lighting, full bright zero, um, driver one, it's not appearing, why is it not appearing? Wireframe, nope. Temporary panic. Is developer definitely on. Alright, just have a point at him and give that a go. That might show us. There we go, there we go. Let me turn back on lighting. Now we have the source engine using AI nodes. Scripts out. Ah, uh, the point is if you bump into him, it's not going to work. Which is also why you need no target off, because if he sees you, he'll get confused and want to attack you. So, NPC, go. Send him back here, and as long as we're careful not to touch him, we get this blue outline of the path from the start to the finish. And I went along pressing um, lights. So you can basically use the source engine, as long as the map is well AI noted, to figure out how to get from one place to another. I think it's pretty cool.